Post drive. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bosnia. But this is the Kingdom of Bosnia now. As evidence that you can see, um, Queen Yelena, the first queen of uh, independent Christiani Bosnia. That she wears is some um, cloak. She still wears her Byzantine armor and decided to upgrade the classical golden reef to a much grander leaf, which we're not using it as the official crown of, of Bosnia. But this is rather more of a, we know it's a Greek influenced, but it's just uh, makes her feel grand that she's the most prestigious ruler we've had in a long time. And this is her son, Nikola, also bearing in Byzantine armor, but has a Slavic uh, helmet as he's a knight for the Kingdom of Bosnia, as we go to it now. Because I have an idea of what we're going to do next. You know, it sounds like a bad idea. A big book on bad ideas. But anyways. Here is Bosnia. The Kingdom of Bosnia, which is now visible on the world map. But you can even see its name there. Compared to all the other areas. But now... The only place where we can declare war on is unfortunately Byzantine Empire, as we have no other claimants in other areas. And those who've been captured in the war earlier can be let go. Can be set free. And also thought about expanding its military bit. Since we're a kingdom now, we're allowed to have another men at arms regiment. So how about another pikeman? Because knowing that Bosnia is mostly mountainous. And so, more pikemen it is. Spend it all. We have the money. We can afford it. It'll take a while to get up there to full strength. We still have our ally up there from that old duke that we helped out earlier. But I looked for other potential allies, and I thought, well, here's a young Serene Doge. So what about um, my granddaughter with you? That is an alliance, but then again, you got many years. It's, it's just to make the alliance official. So that's one. And then I thought of uh, Great Moravia. Aha! About uh, my Marshal, Ivanish. Who will be running Pegania, Donia, Krai, Kraina one day. But that's only if I'm dead and gone. So we'll have an alliance with them. And maybe Italy? Nah, probably not. I don't think it's possible. Can it? No. Well, with them, Venice, and Great Moravia, which takes a while. And of course, our old enemy, Dutch of Visegrad, despite duelists. So. Well, they'll be back being Catholic sooner rather than later. Behar's got... Already betrothed. Well, Gary's rather weak. Maria Slavo. Not really. Does only have one child? Can't trust that. Brave and we're both revelers. I don't think they'll go for it. No, it's too far away to interact with them at all. Compared to the distance between here and there. Well, we know you have a tendency to have a lot of children in your day. They'll never accept it, but... Evil. That's the reason. They view us, Christiani, as evil. Not even a matrilineal marriage will convince it. 
Unless I had a strong hook on him, then that would be... Then we get to talking. Anyways, just many possibilities. There's a Catholic one now, but not all the way. Anyways, let's just build up Bosnia's strength. An alliance with Moravia and Venezia. There you have it. When you turn 30, you'll have a child. I mean, excuse me, you'll have a wife, I should say. And I've uh, switched my focus to foreign affairs for now. Because of my diplomacy education, should be focusing on that a bit. So every two years, Pick up a perk. And I'm also obese, which I'm uh, trying to lose weight. So I'm more prone to stress than ever. But it could kill me. And speaking of who could kill me, I suspect it's one of you two. If it founds out that it is you, we're going to put you in prison. And remember, Vukovar is the home of the Adamites there. Too bad we can never declare a holy war against them because we viewed all Christian faiths as righteous. Because of pastoral isolation. And I'm no longer obese. Oh, joy! That was easy. Looks like I'll be around a little bit more longer. Ready for another war. Once the pikeman's at full strength. Now I became a beast again. I just can't help stop eating because, you know, legendary reveler. And you're, and you're more prone into this sort of thing. Well, at least keep trying. I have to move up the timetable. The timetable for what, you may ask? Well, I will tell you this very soon, by the beginning of January. Despite the, you know, what's going on with the weight issues of young... Can't help but notice, but to see the Byzantine strength is similar, although they only have very few allies. Um, and they're a cavalry intensive army, they are. But the cavalry doesn't do well in the hills of the, um, in the mountains of Bosnia. If they were to attack us. But, however, they do have a lot of their numbers. And the Karatefracts are good in drylands and plains, but not hills nor mountains. Not to mention they can put up quite a, a punch. But there's always this gold, which is going to be an issue. And that's why I thought about fighting a war against the Byzantine Empire for one little county that's rather important to Bosnia for the longest time. Even though it is not a major part of Bosnia, but it's important to the Christiani faith. And we're talking about Ragusa. There is an importance about the Bosnian church in uh, Ragusa. Because we understand that um, the Bosnian church originated here in Visuki. Because um, that's where the house of Christiani was founded. 
And what is important about Ragusa um, of the Christiani faith? I mean, as far as uh, based on what I've read, on a limited history of what we know about the Bosnian church, um, that, you know, even though Bosnian remained normally Catholic in the high Middle Ages in later time, but um, and they say that the Bishop of Bosnia was a local cleric chosen by Bosnians and sent the Archbishop of Ragusa, um, which of course is talking about that stuff down there. And plus, the Banat of Bosnia held straight, strict trade relations with the Republic of Ragusa, um, which existed in real history as we're reading that. So basically it's just a there's a different importance about Ragusa. Not only there were trading partners and because of that it's a holy site for the uh, Bosnian church which adds plus one diplomacy which makes sense for that bonus of what that represents. If only hang on, is there a city in Ragusa County? Yes, Ston. In which I thought about, well, if I were to control it myself, like this mayor here, why don't he, like, why don't we create a, a republic? <laughs> I mean, there's no such thing as a merchant republic in the game yet, but give him a, a vassal republic. Plus, could be possible. Even though everybody is Greek down there, obviously. So that's why we thought about fighting uh, the Byzantine Empire for Ragusa. I mean, the easiest thing in the world would be just swear a fealty and stop this nonsense and just fight from within. And that includes Dalmatia too. But I have a claim on Ragusa, but... Knowing that we were the ones that freed ourselves from Croatian control, and we feel like we could take on the world, but fighting against... Visiting up, I would be suicide, but the strength is similar because the allies would be bringing 8,000 of us, 5,000 of theirs, 3,800 from Great Moravia, then another one from our, our old ally. So, we do have a bit of a chance. And these are the ones who will be showing up. The Armenian principalities. And the Vasilisa of the Byzantine Empire, which she is from Sardinia. And he will take Sardinia to bring it into Byzantium. As they do have other holdings throughout North Africa. And who knows if beating the heck out of the Byzantine Empire would cause a revolt or something, which we would take advantage of them again. Arabian Empire won't intervene as they're busy with their civil war, hoping they would just get at them. No crusade as of yet. We don't get notifications for crusades. So, yeah, let's do it. Bosnian Byzantine War for Ragusa. Which it'll soon be called Dubrovnik by us Bosnians. Oh, she lives in Pondrinia. I have a lot of prestige and I'm willing to spend on those. If I were to get you married now, who would we ally? That's a real question for Alliance Power. I cheat them. No, they're busy. They won't come. The lot, you say. It's within in Italy. They do cover a good distance, so. Furba trouble. We'll break up the patrol later. 
Uh, they can sail a good long way here. Now to bring up Armia Beha. Um, even though um, Beha is uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, but even though most of the borders of the Kingdom of Bosnia is really mostly Bosnia and Herzegovina with a little bit of Croatia. I may not have the full advantage like I used to because I switched to diplomacy. It's for reasons. There they come. Get in here. And the total is a little more than that. But he could potentially bring mercenaries since he got all this great wealth. And he's a holy warrior. Prince Callistos. Which, um, which, based on the way he dresses, I guess he's either a marshal or a knight. So they'll all be coming here shortly. Even though they could definitely bring their way over here, but we'll do what we can here. Damn. Really invest in this place. There's your total. Just barely enough. But he could hire mercenaries. Keep that well in mind. You may see an increase of it. If he did. Two could play that game. Even though there's no holy war here, but... What would be a reasonable price? This has a reasonable price. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> We're going to let you out of here as I'm about to hire you right now. <laughs> I don't think it'll be enough to take them on, but hey, it's an effort. Just finding our strength here. I have a slightly better advantage. And I'm no longer obese again. After claiming what I am owed, I expect you to publicly concede your rights to punish me and grant me forgiveness for my crimes. I could see my imprisonment reason on Mayor Mihailo. That's my rival. As I demand. Hang on. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, train commanders. And it reduces the men at arms. Maintenance. Now we've got additional taxes to keep the war going. There's a presence in my bed, just as tenderly as physical as my body it used to appear when wrapped my lips around me. Yet this presence is not you. The nasty, all but the longing and anguish I'm left behind. During the days I keep myself occupied, but here, where the memories are so vivid, there is no escape. Will the ache ever fade? My lover and best friend has passed, and she was my spy master. Constance, the Greek, you're in. For us good children. 
At least my best friend lived to see the day of of a free Bosnia. Okay, you got the objective. Brother and friend. His friend. Pay up. Trebinia will be the next area to take. It has mounds. Oh, they're coming. And uh, he's wasted all that money, so they're in debt, so they're not going to be as well motivated to fight. So hang on. We'll see where they're going. Here comes our ally. Decides to lead Defensive Building's better army commander. Who is the best commander out of all? Him. He is way more. He's gonna get caught. Don't move. Get to here. What the hell are they doing? Well, they're engaging us now. We're bringing our combined forces here. A little bit afraid of this. We'll probably lose. Here comes more of them. Still winning it somehow, thanks to the advantage of myself. Slow down. Let's see the news here with all these knights in action. Of our courageous Bosnian fighters. The marshal is here. Rather uh, skulls killed in one of them. Again, we have 31 and they have 21. All because Selvaset led the charge um, foolishly. Commander Controller remains the enemy commander. Disfigured. Duke Koga. A Tesselovich from Dalmatia. Name the commander. Plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arises a gift from Vitacha. Why would you send me such an exquisite gift? I do not know. But a fine wave of the carpet is as pleasing to touch the skin of a lover who has since passed. I think I better get rid of it. Plus, there's money in that. Thank you. <laughs> Count Gregor has been slain. He was delicate, but he fought well. Give me another knife. Another count by the name of Edo. This was a great victory, but there's many more battles to come. Shall we 
we truly devastated them by defeating their combined forces. Just giving me huge level of fame gain. Yes, she was disfigured. She got one legged, severely injured, and yet her humors are balanced, he says. Not to mention she's wheezy. And, uh, you killed Prince Kalistos of the Armenian Principalities, Ostoya Herzegovich. You're really done messed up the succession of the Byzantine Empire. Because you know what that means? Since she's too old to have children, they're going to sell her with a princess who is delicate. It's all women from there. I'm sure their vassals ain't going to be happy at the fact that they that they find out that there's a female and that's, we don't like that. Do they think so? Look at the opinion of Liege. Most will like him because of well, some of the things he's done for them over the years. I see mostly positive. Mostly positive. And as the years pass, um, their army will be fighting more and more half-heartedly. But well, we lost our comrade-at-arms, my cousin, Grigor Sandavich. Continue to hold Ragusa of our lives. Wouldn't want to chase the enemy, because that would be um, dangerous. So stay here and hold the objective. That's the goal here. And again, we take they take more casualties while we take less. That's another advantageous thing. So stick together. But then again, they're a large empire. They can reinforce just as fast. Damn these fortifications. They really invested in these. These prisoners that we've also taken, so do that too. Just this once, okay? A little bit of reinforcements would hurt. Of course it was you. You bought me that carpet. Which, thank you for that. But however, you live in Magas. Which is way over there. So come on in. Despite the fact that we broke away from Croatia, but you're still one of us. But soon we may face high and mighty commanders of theirs. Like, even if you were to intercept them, but we'd be taking attrition. But well, we can't pay mercenaries forever, you know? We got lucky because she was reckless. No more advantageous commanders are still out there. So may want to get moving. Get them to fight in Bosnia. Ninoslav, Archbishop. How old are you, man? Let the trade be known to all. You're exposed. Get up here. Armenian principalities. See if we can engage them. It'll lure them over here.
Oh, and she's pregnant. Bad. It's a bad time for you to come here. Capture the marshal. We see. Yeah, our knights are not as good as they used to, so I'm bringing you in. We have to win this war by winning a couple more battles. Occupy a little bit of territory, which... Best place we could think of possible occupation would be um, over there. Even though my cousin lives there. Let's return to here. But supplies are going to be a bit of an issue, but we could potentially split up if we can drive them out of Bosnia. They did come from Constantinople, which is a long way. Again, they have the best commanders the world has to offer. Whereas we're considered a bit amateurish. We have many knights, but some of which aren't as good as it comes from the mercenary band to some. And we don't want to fight them in their mountains, because that would be very bad for us. No, we would be meeting them. Days, 12 days, 11 days. We'd still probably lose, um, even with the split forces, and then when they come in and reinforce, and then it's gonna mess with everything. Don't do it. Countess Militia. Maybe I should have stuck with, you know, being uh, chivalrous. The longer we keep them in their territory, the more they're going to reinforce. We'll probably win. Not sure. But the more they'll come, the more they're going to get backed off. Once again. probably a bad idea. Defending a mountains, they're gonna have to turn around. Even though we'll be bringing everybody along. But... There'll be fresh reinforcements coming. But we're not sure of it. What happened to the old man? Died of complications relating to obesity. Happened this past September. Well then, this could spell trouble for the Empire. Don't let your guard down. It ain't over yet. It's just begun. Looks we'll probably win. They've already made a decision. There's a bit of a pathway they can take. Well, we found a way to split them up. He's an open terrain expert, and we're fighting in these mountains. And reinforcements will be heading this way. The end of a peace. In Mayor Mihailo's attempt of improving my reputation, my incompetent chancellor has agreed to a treaty that cancels out a part of my old treaty with Croatia. The way the king sees it, he's free to declare war on me as he might wish. 
Why would you ever agree to this, Mihailo, you idiot? Ninety years old, and you're poor. I'm sure one day Croatia is eager for revenge. Australia is wounded. You got a good night. Now it's my son in law that's fighting against my husband. You're the one that started all of this. That's that. And Natasha's got Radogos, the handsome. Friendly forces got caught. Terrible thing. Don't join that battle. Hell of a guy. Do join too. So we've beaten this force, but this is the one with their best commanders. In three years' time, they'll get defense and negotiations so we can have one more alliance. That is. If the war can be um, lasting this long. What's the battle going to be like for Tribunye? It says we'll probably win. Well, we've been this force. Now we're dealing with the best commanders out there. So it's likely going to be led by him. The foolish one. Who is a cautious leader and a logistician. One more victory is to be decided here. If the Allies are willing to come with us. The best commander of Bosnia, which is me, was the best commander that Byzantium has to offer. I'm doing it at their terrain, their mountains. It's one of our Allied Knights. Another Allied Knight down. Another um, friendly knight wounded the enemy commander. I've been wounded. Okay, we're both wounded, so this battle of Trinidad is deadlier than originally thought. Hope you can help me. Thank you. Back in action. Yeah, these were our allied knights, none of ours. You know, with them on a retreat, um, grandson, oh, Herculean, aren't you the, uh, the future heir to Phrygia? You know what, do join. And, uh, you too. Son's been wounded. Aggravated, but also ill. He'll feel better. Um, stay strong, Nicola. <sighs> stay strong. Okay. While we're here, get me these new knights to come over here to join the Bosnian army.
Although we also, once we get together, may want to split the forces so we can get resupplied here. Supplies are running low. We're gonna have to let them come over here. Okay. Split forces now. be coming back one more time. One more battle, then that's it for them. Picked our good allies. Oh, no, we got the handle. Stay here and be resupplied. There goes that damn mare. And nearly all my stuff is gone. Savko Sankovic to be the new Chancellor. He's been pulling double duty now. All I wanted was Ragusa for the longest time. And um, my health is poor in general. If I get wounded, and if I get obese one more time, then, then that be the end of me. We'll be coming in soon. We didn't have time to get this fight all the way. Chances are even. We can get everybody together. One more time. One more battle. But this could be a bad idea. Because, you know, we got a crappy commander that's going to be leading this battle. Not if we're here. Just got here just now. Reinforcements will be on the way. Many more will be coming if we can just hold the line. Slow down. So we'll know what's going on with our knights and our allied knights. As we outnumber theirs. Many more have joined. But again, my prowess ain't what it used to be. Killed one of theirs. A few more have joined. We have 41 knights now. Our, our Greek knight was wounded by uh, my cousin from Dalmatia. Scores capped to 50 for battle, so we have no choice but to take this area. Spoleto. That was you, wasn't it? Located in Trabunia. Yeah. Figured. Strategists, they brought you along. For the money. Two months left. Fourteen now. Okay, just a couple more days then. We should take this area.
Glad I was able to take him in his own before it began. This should be it. Glad we have someone like you in our ranks. Get the county of Ragusa and the city of Ston. Venice imprisoned her. Nice, strong. Again, uh, the fighting against the Byzantium was just an act of defiance on the Bosnian part, but this just goes to show that Bosnia and her allies, whomever we choose wisely, and we took them on with that kind of strength. Not bad for an independent Christiani country. You know we had to get help, but still. We did this because um, it's important for the Christiani faith. Greetings, Queen Yelena of Bosnia. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Now it really looks like Bosnia and Herzegovina. <laughs> we can usurp that too from off the stage. And what the hell am I going to do with that? Is it possible that I can give you the whole finite to Dubrovnik? Must hold or receive at least. Wouldn't that make her feudal rather than republic? It's like, yeah, Christian and all that, but hang on, I just want to see if we, like, is it possible we can create a, a republic vassal within a kingdom? It's just a little experiment. If not, then, it, then it's not, all right? Grand city of Ragusa. Now, she's the lady mayor. And one more time, Dubrovnik. And now she is the Ban. The Republic Ban. Again, it's a South Slavic thing. So, so I did not want to hold this personally because of limitations. And plus, having a Republic vassal would be. Let me see. We know it's an unplayable government form when elected citizen rules for life. The government form of burghers and merchants. Republican vassals have static obligations that cannot be changed and thus always provide a dependable and predictable amount of levies and taxes. Towns are ruled by the privileged citizens of the burger class, among whom is chosen as mayor. While the mayor's significant influence, they depend on the popularity to be re-elected. Re-elect? Uh, uh, that's just description. Don't think too much of it. There you go. So you're a public now. We cannot change feudal contract. So you can say, yep, we created the Republic of Dubrovnik or Ragusa. Upon all succession rules, tells will be given their successor. So basically it's just in anyone, anyone's guess. It's just a little experiment. Now, no, oh, damn it. Uh, speaking of the development, check that in a second. We will be spreading the Bosnian culture and subsequently converted to Christian. And since we have a Christian vassal, and therefore we have control of the holy site of Ragusa. Um, so we all have plus one diplomacy now, including myself. Even though getting Esther Gomez is just, to me, that's just popular opinion. That's the best it can offer, but, oh well. If only a, a merchant republic government exists in a game, because do you, can you imagine the amount of wealth it gives us? The tax for that vassal? Speaking of tax, what does Dubrovnik give out? Not very much. 
I mean, to be fair, we just conquered this area. It's under full control, but it would do a lot better if this character had more stewardship. It's a very well developed area. But we can construct the Grand, uh, grand Cathedral if we can get some more money. That'll be up to Nicola, because I won't be around for, for that. So protect this area at all times. I'm sure one day, if we were to fight them again, Dalmatia and all this. And since we beat the heck out of Byzantium, well, they're not uh, weak enough for another war. Well, we sure did it. Wonder what he's going to be like. Soon we'll break that patrol. Desires the kingdom of Bosnia. They probably want to fight for it one day. What do you think of us? We'll let it expire. There is no obesity in me, but... I can host a feast. And I know we're not going to get extra taxes because we told them to spread the culture of the Bosnian culture and the Christiani faith to uh, the land of Ragusa, Dubrovnik, inside of this grand city held by the Ban. And until I pass, we hope that um, Nikola continues to improve his martial and his prowess. He's been an inspiring blade master in his spare time. The Adamites are at it again. Now it's considered inferior to our standards without their allies. And we'll soon be rid of the mercenaries. Or we'll be considered similar by them. Remember, once I pass, Nicola gets uh, Pegania, uh, Kraina, and uh, Donia Krai. We'll be going to Ivanish. Them's the rules. Fornicator. I also kind of want to just save up my money so we can build a second Grand Cathedral for the Christiani faith here for even more renown. But I believe the whole of this holding is going to get some of this, but hey, this county is going to give out more holding taxes and development here. Just shows you how committed we are.
Byzantium's in revolt. A claim. For this man. <laughs> From all the heck way over there. Now they're in deep trouble. I propose one alliance without a marriage. And if I was to choose one, well, we'll think of it. They're part of that rebellion, so it would not be wise to engage them. Because they are many. Orphas, I know them. Oh yeah, the other claimant, here. If it ever expired, I would, but that would also be up against the rebellion there. Yes, Archbishop Ninosov, we can imprison him. Might succeed, but I kind of need him still. For the conversion of Ragusa. Dubrovnik. Keep raising funds. And I would like to have that truce with the Byzantine Empire short it, you know, take advantage of the chaos. You know, fight against them. How long we can openly defy the Byzantine Empire by taking all these parts of the Adriatic coast and even into Serbia. If only they were to take advantage of them right now, but he cannot declare a holy war, because he's a sinner. He's a bad man. So let's increase the speed, knowing that I will soon pass as the old age is. Oh, okay, officially got married up. Nicola, Nicola. I know these two titles are elective, but don't you think it should be going to, you know? He's got the votes. And as for the Banat of Bosnia, he's got the votes too. Thirty years old. Which I believe that's a uh, time for him to get married. Break that patrol. Sorry about this, but he needs to find a suitable wife right now. With inheritable traits. If any. Ah, that'll be a good one. I mean, we have a robust man, but... Intelligent. Yes, her. Really? Related? Right. 
Don't care. Go for it. He needs to get buried right now, damn it. And also, we're trying to raise money here. Do anything for money. Oh, he's at war. Never mind. Sardinia Island. Different faith. Okay. You even know we're the only Christian nation in the world, so negotiate for alliance may be a little hard unless you have very good diplomacy skill. And, uh,. Didn't know you could speak like that. Impeccable. The Adamites are taken care of. But no, there's still one independent Adamite country over there. Here goes my husband and lover. As per usual. Give me a man who knows a lot of things. The more I studied the notable art of statecraft, the more I realized how beneficial good relations my, with my neighbors are. Oh, I'd have one of them visit my court so I could show how good of a friend I can be, but who should I invite? Well, we try to get Bulgaria on our side, but... She says no, but maybe we can convince it. Queen Biljana of Bulgaria. I graciously thank for the invitation to your court. My retinue and I will arrive in Bosnia in a few weeks' time. I will put the servants to work immediately. The impressive Queen Biljana is finally here. Tonight we will have a feast to welcome our foreign guests. We have been hard at work with all the planning and preparation. Everything is almost ready. We have some time to add a final touch. Oh, my, sorry, that name is similar. Um, hang on. At least give it a shot. I know a few specialties from Bulgaria. She feels right at home. We're both Slavs. Huh? I know. Keep the domain high so we could get more income. Hospitality. Exercise or relaxation. If the sky is to be trusted, it seems we'll um, have lovely weather today. I have an excellent opportunity to show my guest, Queen Belliana, the beauty of the local country. I wonder if she would like a vigorous hunting trip or leisurely luncheon in the sun. She's a vindictive villain. Callous, tempted, vengeful, so... A hunting trip will be perfect. She enjoyed the hunt. Petals and thumbs. During our walk through the guns, Queen Belliana and I have pause to admire the view. The proportions, the colors. I've seen a few things as beautiful as this, Queen Yelena, she says and gestures at the sight of us. I feel as I ought to say something kind in return. Perhaps something about her... Again, we know she's a bit of a... I would probably just say, uh, assertive presence, but opinion of me and my diplomacy skill. Everybody knows I have a high diplomacy skill, but it can be made a little higher. Well received. 
See, I'm smart. The last thing gone. After what can only be described as a thoroughly pleasant visit, Queen Biliana and her retinue are about to depart for Bulgaria. Before the Queen steps in her carriage, she clasps my hands and expresses her gratitude, and I assure her she's more than welcome to visit again. May your journey be safe and swift. Why the hell not? Embassies. Each alliance grants some plus one diplomacy to the maximum of five. Adding more so. But I'm going to spend the final years on the well focus because we're going to try to raise our funds to build a church. Not just any church. But a grand Christiani church in Dubrovnik, Ragusa. So send money here. They vanish. Huh? We know he's going to inherit some counties which would weaken Bosnia in a bit. But you're not particularly fond of it. Almost there. Begin the construction. Grand Cathedral. Which again, is holding this county. Taxes will improve, but for the holder, well, she's going to get the renown and not me, unfortunately. I would hold it myself, but there's no reason to yet. I mean, hell, I could have held it myself, but... Oh, well. That would be too many duchies. It's going to be until... March in five years. With King Bernard's dil diligent administration of my household's finances, there is more gold at the end of the season than expected. How should we best uh, put it best to use, wife? Invest money in a local area. Don't you know that the development still has to go up each time? Even at a hundred, she wouldn't close the line still. Unless I had a hook on her. Sorry to know that. As I said, we're a well-protected country. Strong military, holy order, and then Radislava fleet tended to uh, renting some of my land in Usora. Was pulling an exceptional harvest this season due to his meticulous planning. He wishes to use some of his profits to purchase a piece of my estate from me so he can build on success and grow more crops next year. If he can pay me a hard coin, the land is his. Putting you to work. Three years. Huh. Fellow servant of the Lord, as o as our order of the Knights of the of the Chalice grow, we need more land to which to organize the defense of the Christianity faith. The city of Rabia is perfectly suited for our purpose, and we wish to lead it to the service for our cause. Is that around here? Yep, yeah. Where exactly they typically would request cities? Up 
The areas you personally hold, you dummy. It's probably there. Yep. Oh, just point it out to me. I give up. Oh, over there. Yes, sure. This is big money. Yes, give it to him. Your request is granted. For God. Now I can do many things. Um, and knowing my time is limited here on Earth, so I shall go on a pilgrimage. So to, uh, I'm thinking, Ragusa, uh, I don't think we've ever been to Osterholm. It's the one area we've never gone to. We've gone there through war, but not in pilgrimage. I was thinking Ragusa, but we didn't go there. One last pilgrimage. It's done. Among my fellow pilgrims, there's a man who preaches compassion and fellowship. Until he reaches the topic of heathens, one evening around a campfire, he loudly declares to them to be abominable monsters in the eyes of God. Deviants, child murderers all. Most of the people burnt their eyes when he looks at them. Tonight I was not quick enough. Do you not agree, old queen? You're not all that bad. Huh. Even though there's, even though there's nobody here. Mention her clear rationality. I am finally here, body and soul at the great Heja of Ostrom. As the Jed offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that happened for God to bring me here at this moment in time. Walk the holy path. Every ten years, you get to hire a holy order at cheap cost during times like these. Excellent. What I would have done is to befriend you. But I guess that's... Oh, hang on. Of course. Likes me well enough. Back home. Now we go our last hunt and our last feast. Oh, too late. Queen Yelena has found peace in Christ's embrace at 67 years of age. She died of old age. Though quite famous for her sharp intellect, she could still not outsmart death. Let's mention that Queen Yelena uh, was exalted among men and a devoted servant. And though she was a... She educated in diplomacy, but she had to train in a military way, knowing that, that she envisioned... A free Christiani Bosnia and Herzegovina. But, but now, uh, after fighting a few wars herself, but, but the most important thing is that Bosnia is now a free country, but it could have bits of problems in its future. As we know that, that the new king, Nikola 32, his brother in Vanish has inherited Donia Krai, Ukraina, and Paganea. And this could um, cause trouble in its future. Two brothers with martial skills. But now, King Nicola ascends to the throne. Ever confident in himself, Nicola may bring glory or shame to House Tezlovich. Only time will tell. So this is what the official crown looks like. Yeah. And all this. Typically. No need to be wearing, you know, reefs and everything. Although she wore this reef, mother, because, well... It's just to represent, you know, a free, well, not officially a crown or anything like that, but still. We've got a lot of money. 
I got a lot of work to do. As old Ninoslav here um, is not endorsed, but we shall see. And knowing that Nikola Yelenich, child of or son of Yelena, he's a strong man. What do we know about him? He's into chivalry. Fine by me. More of a romancer at first, but soon he will get Bosnia back up to strength. As he will become god, and perhaps a strategist as well in his later life. But he has the country all to himself now. Well, not all. It's just his brother is going to be a problem. But however, he is a sinner, which kind of gives an excuse of, you know, you should do this and that, but I can wait. And I can hold two more counties itself, so I would love to have Donia Krai and Pegania. Kraina is the poorest part of Bosnia, as far as development is concerned. Yes, you're correct. At least we're almost just as developed as some of the coastal areas, which is due to the uh, guild halls, and we encouraged the, the development a bit. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we'll actually close this episode just to, you know, shorten it because. We wanted that episode to be all about the capturing of Ragusa and the aftermath of it by creating this unique oh, vassal of, of us. So it's kind of like Republic of Ragusa within Bosnia, but we actually did that as a way of getting this holy site in which we have the diplomacy. Even though diplomacy isn't all the way the best, but hey, it benefits a bit of it for every one of us. Especially to the Tezlovich. He may not have the intelligence, but he's got the strength. And he's got the wife who is, well, kind of, somewhat related. Which we hope to have a, a child that would be both strong and intelligent. And perhaps more. You may never know. So, yes, we fought against Byzantium and won. You just can't get away with that. What claim? Neopatris? No, thank you. But anyways, we'll see what Bosnia's future will bring, knowing that we have another, uh, well, this time we have a real strong ruler for the first time in 200 years, or nearly 200 years, uh, back in the old pagan days, when we used to have rules like that, and now we truly have a man who's fought bravely, he's a, he's a veteran of a few wars, but now he's, he will continue on his path of chivalry and strategist and possibly expand Bosnia's borders to whichever direction it may take him. But we cannot guarantee that every time. Sister's best friend. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see what the future brings for Nikola, the first king of Bosnia. The first ruling king of Bosnia. And we'll see how this goes from here. I mean, there's no reason to join the Byzantine Empire yet, but we will think about expanding in any direction. That would benefit Bosnia greatly. I mean, ain't no way we're going to go up there and become Christian. Here. Well, make this area Christiani. But there is a bit of Christiani over there, so maybe we ought to expand against Croatia to get Machava. As we do not have a claim on this area. But perhaps we ought to start fabricating for it.
but we know what the first things we're going to do. Hunt, feast, pilgrimage, knights, all that. In the next episode, as we would just finally wrap up this damn thing. Finish your damn lines. But until then, so long for now.